So yeah, I think that's what we can take out of this this kind of vlog today is just, you know, appreciate where we are. Appreciate where we are and how we got here. Some people may think that's a cheese ball attitude, but I don't. So we are back to where we were a few days ago, which is the Air Museum. I hope they're awake. They're awake. <laughs> I hope they're open. I think they're open to four. This is where I went last time. Or last time. It's a couple. Again, I think it was two days ago, and I was on my way out to Tampa, and they were closed. So hopefully they're open now. Um, turn right at Piedmont Airplane, and I, again, like last time, I have no idea if this is the Piedmont Airplane. <laughs> parking and going in and I'm excited I'm kind of excited because there's, there's some cool looking things out here just on the, on the exterior part of everything so just follow the path okay and there's a fighter jet over there okay it's right behind the fighter jet okay there's a little blue awning over over it that's the coolest direction I've ever heard right past the fighter jet I like that okay. <laughs> thanks man some are I mean you're not even walked into this thing and there's already so much to see. I'm really excited to see what's inside. So he said, go past the fighter jet. I'm gonna have to go to my thesaurus. I keep saying cool and awesome <laughs> for everything I see. Encourage them, support the aerospace center. That's absolutely encourage them. Oh, look at this, there's a rooster. Look at this guy. I certainly feel like I'm walking in somebody's yard. Let's go to the historical annex. Maybe there, they'll have answers. So this is the history of National Airlines. It was born in St. Peter, but we were just in St. Pete for a couple of, couple of years. 142 mile mail route, 1934. That's awesome. Um, National certified into Havana, Cuba. Cuba, Cuba, 1946. Uh, see this? So I'll show you some of the exhibits more than just talking about them. And I like to take my time when I go to museums, so it's good to you know have a couple hours. I love history. I love history. As I do more of these vlogs, you're gonna see me going a lot more to historical sites. Oh, National was Pan Am. Okay, so Pan Am bought National in 1980. Gotcha. And they had some. They were the ones that got hijacked, I believe. Florida Aviation Hall of Fame 2016. Mary Frances Frankie Housley. January 14, 1951. Flight 83 skidded through a fence into a ditch. She saved 10 passengers and tried to rescue a baby. Oh, she died in that. Oh, with a four month old level in her arms. That's sad. But that's history, right? History is not always. You know, there's heroics, and she was heroic, and that, that's. That's history just as much as, you know, people passing on in heroic ways. And that's kind of what I see here. They said I can go in for free because they're, they're re renovating everything, but I paid any anyway. I told the lady or the woman, I, I try to support these projects of these kinds of um, organizations because a lot of them are either struggling or not quite as financially strong as it could be. Lockheed Model 14 Super Electra. Lockheed has a plant in Orlando, actually a strong presence right now, a couple of buildings. And uh, so this is kind of just talking about his legacy. And obviously it's a big one when it comes to air travel. Uh, here's his office desk. Interesting. This is cool. So this is still in the first room and I think it's a good choice to, fucking, to go with to go with uh, Howard Hughes. And of course he was a Hollywood magnate as well. You see what, 11 of his movie posters and most of them have planes in them. How long has this, how long has this been around? The museum part? The museum opened in, I believe it was like, it was in the 80s. I think it was okay. the 80s, 1987. Okay, mid 80s. Here's the airboat line of St. Pete and Tampa, that's cool. It really 
was one of the great innovations in the history of the world, you know? Uh, God, this is so cool. Look at this. The XF-11. Howard Hughes himself behind the controls. On July 7, 1946, the XF-11 was ready for her maiden flight. This is a W-8 Tailwind. I dig the things that I don't know about. <laughs> I think it's fascinating that there are people who know so much about this stuff. They always say, they always say, people say you gotta save your history and preserve it, and I get it. But you have to go one further when you say that. I think you have to preserve your history, not just a slogan, it's not just, you know, a thing that makes you feel good when you say it. Um, and that's how I found this, really. I was just looking at brown signs. Um, you know, you see the brown signs when you're, when you're driving down the highway. Sometimes you just gotta stop and check it out and see if it's interesting. And you look at commercial aviation for Boeing. See some uh, some uh, posters of the commercial commercials for travel. Here's a Disney one, of course. Eastern was the official airline of Walt Disney World. Um, didn't say anything where, anywhere like when the, these ads are from, but unless I'm missing it. Florida native and Florida State University alumnus Norm Thaggard, first American to ride on ride to space on board a Russian vehicle, March 14, 1995. Now we're getting into some cool stuff we're about to go into. I'm kind of giving you like a slow build into what we're going to get to here shortly. But you know, here are the rockets. I can't wait. I really can't wait to go out to the Space Coast and really bring you along with me to a, uh, a launch because that's so much fun. Okay, here's a lightning bug. These are, this looks cool. The reason you, you want to maintain your history is because you need the evolution of where, where everything you do to be kept intact or at least at least in books um, because that makes you appreciate what we are. I've taken a lot of flights over the years and never really um, taken for granted that like I'm up in the air somebody some science made this happen and I love that and I love that whole belief and 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 the reality that Everything that I do, everything that like we experience, even I, as I get in my car, all comes from a previous step, you know? How long have you been, been here? How long have you been here on, at this long place? I've been here? Yeah. I've been about 11 years uh, right full time. On. Very cool. That little airplane that I was putting the primer on, yeah. that's uh, Howard Hughes' wind tunnel model for his race. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that's, something yeah. similar inside. Yeah. yeah. That's the original one right there. That's so cool. And it's mostly wood, so you know, it, shrunk and mm -hmm. just stretched and everything else over the years the paint all cracked so we're gonna recondition it when they get the okay. you know, when they when they get it finished and put it back in. You can smell the fumes that you guys you guys uh, get high every day? No, I, I, well <laughs> it's not quite that strong. Yeah. I painted it outside. So I got a question for you. I mean obviously something like this you have uh, flight enthusiasts but you also have historians. What side are you? Are you, are you on both? You're both? Well, I'm not much of a historian. I've yeah. got a couple of, well, I guess you'd call them antique or classic airplanes. Right now I have a 1946 Piper Cup. Okay, very cool. And I've had uh, several different airplanes from the 40s, vintage, but uh, nothing like this. This is a walkover airplane from the 30s. Has it been like a lifelong thing for you? Mostly, yeah. I find that like most, Mostly, like yeah. most people who do kid, this, yeah, yeah. The looks of airplanes and stuff. Yeah, like no, I love it, I love it. Pe people nowadays, they don't appreciate the steps it took to be where we are now. You know what I mean? That's yeah, and that, that that includes cars. That includes. I mean, you can you can go back to baseball stadiums, right? I mean, they. I mean, I love that there are steps to get to where we are today, and you got to keep that alive. Well, I tip my hat to you, sir. Uh, people who keep these things going, um, they're just really. To me, they're heroic because you you can forget about things easily if they're not kept up i think a lot of people do forget about they're so wrapped up in their world what's it what well, you know what happens life life happens but like sometimes you gotta slow down and just check out kind of where we came from and i'm gonna go go get closer look if that's okay i won't touch them yeah help yourself yeah see i think that's what you can take out of this this kind of vlog today is just you know appreciate where we are appreciate where we are and how we got here some people may think that's a cheese ball attitude but i don't like, i think it's it's Something that, um, and there are a million 
cliches and sayings out there that I can turn to right now. But it all comes down to, you know, support history, support places like this that preserve it because that's how the next generation sees it. Iteration and in, in, in invention is a big thing, but very rarely do you see an innovation on the previous model only. It's It still includes several things that were first introduced years before. So at some point I might come back here because first of all, that museum is awesome. I can't wait to see it expanding and see the building. Also, you look over here, you see the high school flying club, which is something that I didn't know existed. Again, so I took a brown sign, took a left of the, on the road. So, all right, I'm gonna go get on Voyager Path and drive out of the complex and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again soon.